Thanks for tuning in guys to Pest and Lawn Jiu Today is my unboxing and short review of the Momotion Luba AI Robot Mower. Now I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't happen very often where I open a box and I'm just like, this is awesome. And this is one of those times I've, I've literally had to tone down my emotions and just make sure that we're doing an unbiased review. But this thing just looks so cool. It flies out of the box, looking like an F1 car. And I'm a car guy, so it kind of hits home. Now when I mentioned this thing is well built, it's got big beefy tires. And part of the reason why they're so big and beefy is because each wheel has a motor inside of it. And just like an awesome car out there, it's got an independent suspension off each one of the wheels that allows it to keep it level and to go over rough terrain. And of course, my favorite thing about the Luba is she is a perimeter wire free system with an RTK base station. Base station has a capability of sending a signal up to 120 meters or 390 feet in radius. Set of an installation is a breeze. Now the one thing I try to let everybody know is you want to get the height of cut down to where you want it before you start mowing with robot mowers like this. So right off the bat, I took my height of cut down from about two and a half inches down to 1.5 inches so I could easily get the lube to mow down to 30 millimeters or 1.2 inches. Now I love me a good short mow, but the Luba is capable of going all the way up to two and three quarters inches. Now these kind of mowers were meant to take a little bit off the top and, and I prefer to run these types of mowers about five days a week, if not seven. One thing I absolutely love about the Luba is its dual cutting deck. It'll cut a total of about 15 inches widthwise, where the majority of the competitors are doing about seven inches. Now the blades are just like razor blades. They're really meant to be changed out every month or two. They're meant to take small bits off of the top. And there's a couple of things about this. You wanna make sure that you clean the areas of debris, branches, things of this sort. They're gonna get stuck in this kind of mower, which is why you wanna make sure that it's debris free. Now setting up the Luba is pretty easy. You just follow the app and you walk around the points of reference that you want. Now it's best to stay about six to seven inches out from the border because this is a wireless system that pings off of satellites. Now, although it does have a ton of sensors on the front of this mower, it's still not going to quite detect everything on the border. And so you still have to come out here with a weed whacker, but I've found that this thing's been pretty flawless. I've been running it for about five weeks now and I haven't had to come out and save it, which has been amazing. I just set my perimeter, it's been going, and I've been really, really pleased with it. Momotion did a great job with the built-in settings. We've got settings for high grass, fine cutting, and efficient cutting. The difference is the high grass is going to allow you to go up to 2.8 inches, which is huge in the robot community. The fine cutting is for shorter styles of grass, but it's also a built-in setting to cross cut the grass. Yes cross cut. It's going to mow vertically and horizontally. Efficient cutting is for a one pass cut like you normally would with a rotary mower. Your customized settings are going to be just that. You can customize the pass over single grid, double grid, or even a segmented grid, cut route spacing, and even height of cut. But Ginger, can it handle hills? So this is one of the steepest hills with grass on it that I can find. And the funny thing is at the peak of this thing, it's like 27 degrees. The loop has still got an extra 10 degrees to go, which is mind blowing. I'm killing two birds with one stone. This grass was cut at about three and a half inches and the Luba's top end goes to about 2.8 inches high and it's still cutting it. And it's cutting it good. <laughs> this thing's kind of crazy. I want you guys to understand how big of an angle this really is. This right here, believe it or not, is what the Luba is capable of doing. That's about 37 degrees. What we were doing was still insane, which is about right here, 27 degrees. <laughs> it's a big angle. When it comes to noise, she's well below 58 decibels. Uh, you are not gonna hear this. This is as close as we can get. You can hear that my voice is well above the Luba Mimosa. 
find that setting a daily schedule for these types of mowers is the best way to mow because in essence they're mulching and mulching your lawn is one of the best things that you can do health wise because it's putting all those nutrients back into the lawn and it's no wonder why my lawn is so happy at this point now the model that was given to me is the luba mimosha 5000 awd all wheel drive baby now <laughs> Let's go over what this thing is promising. Now, this is promising to go over a staggering area of 1.25 acres. It's unfreaking believable. That is a lot of area. So, for all you guys out in the sticks, this could potentially be your guy. Now, when it comes to obstacle avoidance, I've been pleased with the Luba. I've had instances where animals have darted right in front of it and it's gone around it. I've had instances here where I can throw something in front of it and it will literally stop and go around it. These perimeter free technologies, they're all very similar in the fact that they are pinging satellites in the air. So if you have a yard that is very similar to mine where it's bordering the neighbor's property, lots of trees, we've got some brick. I had to find this area right here by my tree and I'm literally getting 28 satellites. It works fantastic. However, I am planning on putting it on my roof to do more extensive training with the Luba just to see how far I can go. Now the Luba is a multi-zone system. So you can actually set it up on the front yard and then create a walking path to the backyard or heck, even your neighbor's yard and mow it. And these are things that I'm going to be testing out thoroughly in the weeks to come. Now I must say my absolute favorite feature of the Luba has to be the cross cut. It just automatically cross cuts and it's part of the system and it's one of the options that you can do. Now don't get me wrong, we're not all rainbows and strawberry shortcake here. There's a couple of downfalls. Number one that I've noticed is the crosscut feature does not alternate patterns. So it goes in the exact same line of motion. The other issue that I've, I've been facing is when you choose the um, zero turn, when it's coming back, because of the all wheel drive, it really digs into the lawn. So if you have areas like I do that I'm rebuilding due to sprinkler projects, it's going to kind of dig into that area and not really allow for new growth. Personally, I believe this can be uh, remediated by using a software update. So I would assume that in the future, things are gonna be really, really good. I mean, you can tell by the color of my lawn, <laughs> quality of cut has been really, really nice. My lawn sits just, just below 1.5 inches right now. When it comes to warranty support, the Luba backs up the main parts and the battery for a two year period from the time that it was delivered. Now, if I've learned a lesson, it's make sure that you register your products as soon as you get them. And what I can tell you is I've been using this mower for about five weeks. This mower is built like a tank and I've really enjoyed it. Not only I really enjoy the looks, but I feel like it works the way that it's supposed to. But if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up down in the comments below. You know I'd love to help you guys out. Until next time, guys, this is the Pest and Lawn Ginger. We're slaying lawns.